Hi guys, I thought I'd do a quick uh, first impression video of Enjoy Deal hammock tent. Uh, it's not a uh, Grand Trunk Skeeter Beater or an Ozark Mountain even. Certainly not a Hennessy or War Bonnet or anything like that. But uh, I'm mostly a tent guy and I thought I'd try hammock tenting. I found this good deal. It was only, uh, I think it was 19 bucks, and then I added it onto an Amazon order. So I thought I'd go ahead and order it. But this one is from Enjoy Deal. It's called an Enjoy Deal Portable Hammock. And I'll take it out here and we'll see what it looks like. Uh, it's just a little over a pound and a half. And if, when I measured it, it was about 8 inches by 7 inches by about 5 inches thick. And it comes in a little, little uh, bag like this. Alright, so let's open it up here and see what's inside. Looks like we got some cordage there, some more cordage, and the hammock itself, and I think this has got a, uh, a attached pocket to it, yeah. So the bag itself is a pocket that's attached to the hammock, so when you're sleeping you can put stuff in there at night. There's no instructions with it at all, but I am... A semi-intelligent guy and I'm gonna figure it out and I'll see how long it takes me and then I'll tell you that and see what it looks like well with zero instructions and not a lot of time I managed to set this up in about five minutes it was pretty quick um, I did not use straps I used the included uh, cordage that it came with uh, I wouldn't trust this cordage it's um, it looks like a three strand inner or something, but I just wanted to see if it would work. Uh, I don't really like the look of that either. Looks like it was fused together or something. And the other pieces like that too. Uh, this cordage is probably about maybe 10 feet long, and there's two of them, one for each side. And then it also came with some of this stuff, uh, which is fine for the mosquito netting to, to guy it out here. And there's probably about two 10 yard pieces of this so I'm perfectly fine with that I didn't do a real good setup on it I probably should have you know stretched these out but I wanted to just to see how quick it set up it came with these uh, you know the cheap carabiners or you can't really call them carabiners but the cheap um, cheap things that you see all the time and uh, I just did a double wrap around there with a figure eight and it actually held up pretty good. Uh, there was quite a bit of room inside. I was pretty happy with it. Let's see what it looks like inside. Before we go inside, I wanted to show you this side of it. Uh, again, here's the pouch that it comes in. You can access this from the, well, it's on the outside of the hammock, but you can access it through the zippers here. Uh, the zippers go almost the full length. Which is nice, so it's easy to get into. And uh, let's see what it's like inside. Alright, well here I'm inside the hammock. It was very easy to get into, uh, like most hammocks are. Here you can see the two zippers. So I can easily get at the little pouch if I need to get something in the middle of the night. And close that shut. There's plenty of room inside. And, I mean, it's nice and wide in there if I want to so I'm fairly happy with it I can feel when I get in I can feel the um, the, the heavy cords that comes with it I can it's kind of creaking and stuff and I, I don't know if I'd trust that I, I'd probably use some webbing or something but overall for the 20 bucks I spent on it I'm pretty happy and I'm kind of excited to try a night out in it maybe I'll like hammock capping we'll see it is just barely wide enough to go diagonal here and lay on my side um, so I, if I'm a side sleeper I could probably sleep like this no problem. Um, I sleep on my side and my back so I don't think I'll have a problem sleeping in this at all. The mosquito net does not come off. It is sewed onto here. It also has four guy outs. Two on the front or two on the top and two on the bottom. They're head and foot. So if you wanted to use it as a just a regular hammock you could easily just flip it over and I've done that and uh, it lays fine in there too. Uh, there's plenty of room. I can I can stretch out completely. Put my hands over. Put my hands over my head and 
and uh, I don't hit the ends with it. I'm not. I'm about five foot uh, nine, I think. And here's me sitting in it as an open top hammock uh, with the mosquito netting on the underside of me. I can still access the little pouch which is right here and it's very comfortable like this oh, it's pretty nice I'm pretty happy with it I'm pretty impressed with it for the 19 bucks I spent on it well I decided I'd try and sleep out in it tonight see how it is so I put a tarp over it uh, this is just a cheap 9x9 tarp and uh, we'll see how it lasts tonight well it's morning and I slept in the hammock last night um, as far as the hammock goes, uh, I know it's only one night and it was only 20 bucks and I think it's a great introduction to hammock camping. I think uh, it's decently made, the zipper held up fine, uh, no stitching came loose, no bugs got in, no rips, no tears. I even used the cheesy ropes that came with it and I didn't fall in the middle of the night which was good. So I'm, I'm fairly happy with the hammock. Uh, the price was right and it was a good way to introduce myself to hammock camping. As far as hammock camping goes, I don't think I'll be doing it again. Um, I didn't like the way it swayed. I kind of get motion sickness and I didn't, didn't like the way it swayed when the wind. Um, I didn't like the way uh, that I kept scooting down it seemed like. I, I did try it and with my feet higher than my head, I still kind of scooted down. Uh, I kept warm all night. I had that insulating thing underneath, so I kept warm all night. Um, I didn't like the way the stuff, there was nowhere to put my stuff. My flashlight kept ending up under my butt for some reason, and and um, I couldn't sleep on my side. That was the biggest thing. I, I thought I could, but I could not get comfortable sleeping on my side. So I think I'll be a ground dweller from now on. But uh, I'm glad I tried it. Uh, I'm glad I got into it cheap. And I tried it, and I'll probably trade it for something else. So if you have any questions or comments, please post them below. Please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.